Hi, Jeff Baker here with Seabreeze Computers. If you forgot your iPhone or iPad passcode and uh, you've tried multiple tries and now it says it's disabled uh, your uh, iPhone or iPad, uh, what can you do? And this uh, tutorial will help you try different ways to get back into your uh, iPhone or iPad. Each of these methods will erase all the data on your device. There is the potential of restoring some data if you made an iCloud or an iTunes backup, but don't count on it. You probably won't be able to restore your data, but at least if you use one of these methods, you will be able to use your device again. Method 1, iCloud. If you remember your Apple ID and password, then you can erase your iPad or iPhone and start over using iCloud. First, go to iCloud.com and enter your Apple ID and password. That'll be the same Apple ID and password you use for iTunes Music or to get apps from the App Store. Then click on Find iPhone. Wait for it to locate it. Click on your iPhone or iPad and then click on the correct device in the list. You should probably click on play a sound to make sure that it's the correct device and then click erase iPhone. Method 2 iTunes. Connect your device to your computer using the USB cable and then open iTunes on the computer. Wait for iTunes to sync your device and then if you've made a backup on this computer or synced to this computer you can click on restore iPhone. You may have to click on your device icon in iTunes and then click the restore button. Uh, the third method is using iTunes again but on a computer you haven't synced or backed up to. If you have the screen on your iPad where it says iPad disabled connect to iTunes and iTunes says iTunes could not connect to the iPad because it is locked with a passcode then follow these steps to enter recovery mode on your device. On an iPhone X or iPhone 8 Press and then quickly release the volume up button. Press and then quickly release the volume down button. Then press and hold the side button until you see the recovery mode screen. On an iPhone 7, press and hold both the side button and the volume down buttons at the same time and keep holding them until you see the recovery mode screen. On an iPhone 6 or earlier or an iPad, press and hold both the home button and the top or side button, the on off button, at the same time and keep holding them until you see the recovery mode screen. In iTunes you should see this screen. There is a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So click on restore when it says, are you sure you want to restore the iPhone to its factory settings? All of your media and other data will be erased. Click on Restore and Update. Click Next for the iPhone software update. Make sure you have plenty of room on your hard drive to download the update. You probably need about 3 or 4 gigabytes free. Now agree to sell your soul to Apple by clicking on the agree button and then wait. If you get the error iTunes could not connect to this iPad, an unknown error occurred, then you may have to do all the steps again such as putting your device into recovery mode by pressing the buttons at the same time again. This error might occur because your computer screen turned off like sleep mode on your computer while it was still downloading the iOS software. So you might want to keep your screen awake or turn off power management 
while it's downloading. And you can see the progress of the download by clicking on the download icon on the upper right of iTunes. Once it downloads, you should see that it is restoring iPhone software. On your device, you'll see the Apple logo and the progress line going across the screen. After it finishes, on your device, you should see the hello screen, and you can then set up your device like it was new. While setting up, you might get this screen, Apps and Data, where you can try to restore from iCloud Backup or restore from iTunes Backup. If you've made a backup in the past on this device, then you might be able to recover some of the data, but uh, don't count on it.